it's been wildly challenging. Sierra Borer turned to Ohio's unemployment system when the pandemic shut down her salon. You could call a couple times a day and get a different answer depending on who you talk to. But the system turned on her by asking her twice to repay those benefits. Your stomach just sinks, you know, because you're, you're like, I thought I got this all sorted out. That's why Borer was shocked to learn how much Ohio paid the consultant that processed her claims. I have never worked with a system that is so flawed. This document is the ninth amendment of a contract signed in April 2020 between Ohio and Deloitte Consulting. It was announced as a $9.6 million deal to build and operate the pandemic unemployment system that Borer had so much trouble navigating. This state report says Ohio's pandemic unemployment system lost $441 million to fraud and $1.2 billion to overpayments. But that didn't keep Deloitte's contract from growing to more than $120 million. I think the state um, is probably being, has been taken advantage of in these IT contracts. Toledo Republican Derek Marin is chairman of the Ohio House Ways and Means Committee. It's very hard to prove unless you're you know, an IT professional and you know what these you know, contracts should cost. Um, but as a lawmaker in this state, no, I do not have confidence of that uh, we are paying what is appropriate um, for these services that we're getting. Deloitte says it's proud of its work in Ohio. It claims to have stopped nearly 2 million potentially fraudulent claims totaling more than $7 billion. Well, we're not real impressed with the job Deloitte did candidly. Ohio Auditor Keith Faber says he has serious concerns about Deloitte's security protocols. I've got an audit that's ongoing. We'll release that, a bit, that information at the end of October. But I will say generally my belief is when somebody doesn't do what they're supposed to do or they do what they're supposed to do in a very sloppy way that leads to large exposures, I, I think there ought to be some ramifications for that. Ohio's unemployment agency says all contractors should be held accountable for their work. I have never worked with a system that is so flawed. <laughs> Dan Monk, WCPO9, I-Team.